guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make meatballs in tomato sauce. So, let's get to it. So what you're gonna need is 500 grams of veal mince, 500 grams of pork mince. So you simply place that in the bowl like so. You're also going to need about three slices of bread. Uh, I prefer to use the Italian style bread opposed to breadcrumbs, mainly because of the moisture that it adds to the meatball. So we're looking for a really moist meatball. Um, a nice juicy texture is what uh, we aim for. So, um, so what you do is you simply break that up like so. So I'll throw that in there with the mince. You will need two eggs. With the eggs, I like to add the seasoning to the egg mixture. So that's half a teaspoon of pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. The reason that I add the pepper and the salt to the egg is because it allows even distribution through the mixture. So I'll give that a light whisk and I'll pop that into the bowl. And um, you also need two cloves of garlic. I like to dice it up really fine. We want the flavour and not the texture with the garlic. So the key to amazing meatballs, I believe, is the amount of cheese and parsley that you add to it. I like to add more. It, it really creates the most amazing flavour. So I've got here pecorino cheese. It has more of a bite and adds a stronger flavor, which is a nicer flavor actually to the meatball. So one cup of uh, pecorino cheese to the mixture and half a cup of flat leaf parsley. So that's basically it. With clean hands, you give it a nice mix. So this recipe has come straight down the line from my great grandmother and my grandmother. And obviously, as the generations move forward, you add, you know, what you like to it, which leads me to my little secret, which I've found makes the meatball really tasty, uh, is to add some of the sauce into the meatball mix. So um, you can see here, I have a pot of sauce cooking. Uh, you'll be able to find this recipe for the tomato sauce in my other videos. I'll add it to the end for you, so you can simply click on that. I add probably about four teaspoons into the mix, just to create more moisture. We don't want a dry meatball, we want a very juicy meatball. So it is hot, so beware of your fingers. Two, three, four. So if you follow my other recipe on how to make a tomato sauce, all I suggest you do is add, depending on the amount of people, another two cans. So two cans probably feeds up to four people, four cans to five cans can feed up to eight to ten people. So just depends on um, how many people you're feeding. So I actually have some people coming over tonight, and my cousins and my aunt coming over, and my little cousin David he asked if I would make him meatballs. So I thought, it's no perfect time than to share it with you. Um, everybody in our family loves meatballs. You can either have the meatball uh, with vegetables on the side, or you can simply boil up some pasta and have spaghetti meatballs. So it's personal preference. Okay, so I've given it a good mix. Make sure you do mix it through well so that the flavors can evenly distribute. So that's the meatball mixture there. Nice and juicy. So I'm simply gonna roll these now and gently place them into the pot. Uh, some people like to use ice cream scoops. I don't see the need for it. I just simply add what I feel is the right amount, sort of like a little handful, and it generally stays consistent. Another little tip that I can give you is that you should not compress the meatball because it, um, it makes it more tough. So we lightly pick up the meatball and we roll it into a ball, place it in the pot, and again. 
people prefer to pre-cook them either by frying them and browning them or even popping them in the oven I don't feel the need to do that I've been eating these since since I was um, <laughs> knee height and uh, I think this is perfectly fine to pop them straight in some say that overcooking them makes them tough I haven't found that to be the case either uh, as I said this goes back way generations and um, as far as I'm concerned <laughs> You can't get any better than this. Just bear in mind that meatballs do shrink. So if you want them a certain size, just make them slightly uh, larger. Now be careful not to handle them too much. They will require a little bit of cooking before they become uh, more manageable and not break down so easily. So just be careful. Yum. I've used a shallow bowl or shallow pot rather so that you're able to see them but normally I, I definitely use a deeper bowl. We will find that the sauce will reduce and the meatballs will shrink so I know in the end it'll be fine. Anyway I'm going to allow this to cook now for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll come back to you. See you soon. So while the meatballs are cooking, simply just boil some water, add a teaspoon of salt and add your preferred vegetable. In this case, I am using beans so I can add them to the side of the meatball dish. Okay, so the meatballs are just about ready now and they're looking and smelling delicious. So as always, I'm going to try the dish. I'm going to pop the beans into the bowl. And to that, I'm going to dress them with a little drizzle of olive oil and some salt for seasoning. I'm gonna add the amazing meatballs. Just add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to that. Now I'm using Grana Padano cheese, not the Pecorino cheese that I used in the meatball mixture. A little bit sweeter, less of a bite. Perfect. Now I'm going to try it. Mm. They are so tender and so juicy. Such authentic flavours. You can't get better than this. I hope you give it a go because you're going to love it. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. I'm also on Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, you can just be kept up to date with what I'm releasing next. Also, it's a little bit more personal, so you'll get to know me and also my family a lot better. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. How many should I have for lunch today? Five. Let's say six. I bet you think I'm kidding, right? <laughs> I love my food. Thank you.